What's up you guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to deal with errors. So uh, just type along with me while true try. What this line of code basically said while it's true try this. <laughs> That's what it basically does. So create a variable, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine x and put int um, and then put input enter num here. Num stands for number. And uh, yeah, you got you got you, you guys is gonna be great. So just type along with me. So amount no let's let's call it total total equals x multiplied by five and print total. So now we want to create an exception. So just type, type along with me and you'll get it all. Value error print make sure that it is a number. So let's run this real quick. And so what it's basically doing is this. It's saying, okay, while it's true, try this. So um, the program is expecting a number because it's converting to a number, but look what happens as soon as I put like K or something. K is not a number, so I press enter, and it's giving me this line of code right here. Sorry, this answer right here. And what happened is basically this. Normally, guys, if you put a K here, your program will just crash. But we made an exception. We said accept value error because that specific uh, problem is like a value error. When you enter a letter when it's when you're not supposed to, that's a value error. And when we we just deal with it, and the re how we deal with it is basically this: we said accept value error. When a value error happens, print this line of code right here, and the program is still going. So if we put a number now and you press enter, it will just print out the numbers right here. You're saying, okay, Mo, well, this program is great, but once you once you print a number, it's supposed to stop. So it won't stop because it's in a while loop and you have to break that. So how you can do that is this. So where you want to stop? You want to stop when you get the when you get the when you actually input a number. So all you have to do is just type break. So run it again. Now if you input uh, a letter, it will it will keep going. A letter, it will keep going. A letter, it will keep going. It will literally keep going forever because it's in a while loop. So as soon as you put a number, boom, 40. Because 8 multiplied by 5 is 40. So here we took uh, a number and converted to an integer and stored it in x. We multiplied it, we print total, we breaked it. So there's something else that I want to teach you guys. This is a specific kind of error, like a, a value error, what I just taught you. But what if you want to deal with all kinds of errors? Um, there's You can just type exception, and that will basically do, it will just deal with all kinds of errors. Um, guys, personally, I don't like to use that because what if you had like a yeah like you don't know what what is this preventing so you're just you're just you know you're just controlling everything you normally you want to know exactly what's like what is wrong so you can deal with it in a specific way so uh, yeah this will will make sure that your program won't crash but I don't recommend it because it's dealing with all errors normally you want to know exactly what's going on so uh, yeah I just want to teach you guys this and the second thing that I want to teach you guys is this, something called finally. And what finally does is basically execute this line of code no matter what. This will always run. So run it. You put J. It said make sure that it's a number because it, it made an exception and it printed this out. And it also printed this line of code. This will always num. <laughs> I don't know why I typed that. But 
Yeah, you guys get the idea. You put k, it will give you the same thing. This line of code will, will run no matter what. This line of code will run when there is an exception. So let's put 8. It got printed out, it broke, and this line of code got executed no matter what. So uh, you guys, this is your quick tutorial on how to deal with errors and like create exceptions and all that good stuff. And uh, if you guys like want your program to crash after an exception, all you have to do is just put break here. And yeah, if you run it and you put J, it will just crash. Oh, not crash, sorry. Just like uh, stop, break. Um, you guys, in the next tutorial, I'm, we're going to create a, a really deep, nice, good-looking program. We're going to uh, like create a program that will take uh, a file and like loop through it and like um, check if a specific number exists, uh, if, uh, sorry, specific uh, um, uh, words exist in that file. So it's going to be pretty legit and it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.